Hi everyone, I thought I'd do a quick video on how to use parameters in Adventure Creator to uh, uh, make your life a lot easier. So let me jump into uh, Unity. So first of all, if you have uh, an item that you want to be, be able to pick up, uh, the classic or the, 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 the bad way of doing it is uh, uh, like this. This may be the way that many people that get started in Adventure Creator is, the, is used to how to do it. So basically, you have a hotspot, you have a walk to marker, uh, everything is the same there. You put an interaction on it. Uh, I'm using a two button interface. So I have a left click for use and right click for uh, uh, examine. So it's context based basically. So use is pick up, talk to everything like that, depending on, on the context. So if I left click it, I get the use interaction and it looks like this. Uh, it, it plays a dialogue. Then it plays a, a custom animation where the player character bends down facing upwards in the screen. It does not loop this animation. It stops when it's done. Then it adds the garden twine item to the inventory, which is the sprite we are picking up. It selects the garden twine within the inventory. It removes the garden twine item from the scene, the little sprite, and it disables the hotspot. And then finally, when all this is done, it plays the animation to stand up facing upwards. And that's the entire action list for picking up an item. So this will be need to be reproduced for each item you want to pick up, and that is a lot of work. Instead, you can create an action list asset file uh, and set parameters to it. And then this entire list of actions becomes just this little small box. So how do you do that? Let, let me show you. So we go to the scene. I'm going to move over here. I've created a new uh, sprite. Over here, it's just a copy of the other one. I've created a new hotspot, placed that on top of it with a use interaction on it. Uh, I've created a walk to marker for this hotspot, like before. And at the moment, there is no interactions on this. Uh, it's empty. We need to reference some kind of asset file inside that action list. So I have these all prepared. Uh, but I'm gonna make it, make it from scratch, so you know how to do it. So you can just right click in your asset folder wherever you want. I have a folder called action list where I put these. So create, adventure creator, action list. Name this, whatever you want. We're gonna pick up, now we call it, para, oh, I can't spell parameters video. All right. This is like any other action list, but we're gonna make it a bit different. We're gonna use this one for picking up an item to the right. Right. So what's changed? Yeah, if you select it here, look at the inspector window, you will see that you have a checkbox here called use parameters. If I click that, I get this little window, I can create a new parameter. So the first one should be called, what's the first action that should happen when you pick an item up? The item needs to disappear. So object to hide. What is it that we're gonna hide? We're gonna hide a sprite. The sprite is a game object. So we're gonna put it as a type game object. We're gonna set the default value to none because we haven't decided what we're picking up yet. We're gonna do that later. Can I create a new parameter? So what's going to happen next? The object has disappeared. It needs to show up in our hands. So object to add to inventory. We can name it whatever we want. The inventory is handled uh, separately in AC. So that is not the game object. That is its own type. It's an inventory item. So we're going to put that as an inventory item. We're going to set the default value to none because we're going to decide later what it's going to be. And then uh, finally, 
we need to re uh, hide or disable the hotspot so you can't pick up multiple items when it's gone. So hotspot to disable. And hotspots are basically just uh, rectangles with uh, uh, with a script on it. So there are also regular game objects. Set it to none because we, we want to select that later. All right. So now we have the parameters set. Now within our action list editor, we can start creating the actual animation and what's actually going to happen. And we're going to do that the same way you always do it with a slight variation. So first of all, We'll make a new one. We're going to do character is player, play custom animation. And I forgot what the name of it was. Maybe I can find it. Ooh, here we go. No, that's not it. Here we go. Uh, so we're going to take it to the right. And I have the animation here. Ninja take low underscore right. So we're going to play that one. Ninja. Take low underscore right. I'm going to copy this, paste it. And while I'm already doing this, I'm going to create the end as well. So I don't have to find everything again. And I'm going to end with Ninja take low rise to the right. I know my naming convention is really bad. I've been saying it all the time. But now you know why. Uh, so what's going to happen in this action list? where we're going to have to reference our parameters. So first of all, we are doing a uh, hiding an object. So uh, where is it? Oh, there we go. Object, visibility is, and now you can use this one, is a parameter, object to hide. Visibility, invisible. You saw it starting to understand what's happening now? It's pretty cool. Our next thing that's going to happen is we're going to add this object to our inventory. Inventory, add or remove, item to add, this parameter object to add to inventory. And finally, we're going to disable the hotspot. So we go, go here, hotspot, enable or disable, hotspot to affect, the parameter hotspot to disable, change to disabled. And finally, play the, the animation where she stands up. So this is all uh, nice and dandy. So, but we're not done yet. This is we've created the asset file. This has no link yet to this, and we can't just use this one as our interaction directly on this one, because this one has uh, the parameters video action file uh, action list asset file has no parameters set. It only has uh, it's it's left blank. So instead, we need to reference that within the hotspot we have in the scene. So we create a new interaction in the scene. By the way, we need to move this to the left side if we're going to pick it up on the right side. Ah. And in this, all we need to do is go for to run the action list. It's not in the scene. It's an asset file. It's called parameters video set parameters and run. And now everything is basically self explanatory. It's called that's a very good question. What the heck is this object called? It's called string underscore scene zero one, you see. Here we go again with my naming conventions. String. It's this one because it's a copy. What do we need to add to the inventory? We need to add garden twine. What hotspot do we have to need to disable? We need to disable the uh, string scene. 
number one. Yeah, because that's a copy. All right. And we're done. So that took a while, didn't it? Yeah, it took quite a while. Let's see if it works. So what happens now? So within the game, I have an empty inventory. If I click this one, boop, boop. It plays the animation, adds it to the inventory. I know, I realized that I forgot something. On this hotspot, I need to do a play reaction. Walk to marker, face off the moving. So let's try it again. Ta-da! It works! So why did we do all that work? Well, we did all that work because maybe we want to add another item. So what should we add? What should we add? We can do whatever. We can add a head here. Let's see. So here we have an, an alien plant head. So basically, well, what I can do now is I can just call it alien head. I don't have a, an alien head icon, but I can show you. Add it. I have, a, I have a hotspot here. So this is a new item. I create a use interaction. I create a walk to marker. Place the marker, whatever I want. I'm going to put it on this side. In my use interaction. Action list, run, asset file, parameters video, set parameters, and voila. The head, I'm going to disable the head idle hotspot. Hope oh, that's the one. What did I name it? Alien head, right? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and uh, what are we going to add to the... We can take whatever. Let's add uh, Let's add a robot to her. That's, that's going to be fine. And our play reaction is, of course, walk to marker. Play it. And it should work. Robop. Now it's added our little robot to our inventory. Pretty cool, eh? So you can, of course, tweak this quite a lot. Uh, I just did a very, very basic one. But as you see, my timings were a bit off. But you can add, uh, uh, as I have done here, I've added some wait times within the, within the action lists to make it a bit more, uh, it looks right. So the item disappears and then it waits a little bit before she just stands up a bit. It makes it a bit more realistic. So you can basically do a regular action list with, with everything. So that's it. That's how you use uh, uh, parameters in that way. Uh, another great way of using this, which I haven't done yet, is for unexpected. Uh, if you want to add uh, comments, uh, that uh, for example, if you try to do something you shouldn't do, you can add a default reply. Uh, so. And that default reply can be a bit more advanced. Maybe the character will shrug and say, oh, I can't do that. Instead of doing that every time, you can just reference that in an action list asset file. So there are many, 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 many uh, instances where this is a great thing. And you really, really, really need to start using these from the start. It will save you hours upon hours upon hours of work when your game starts to get big. And uh, yeah, that's it for me. Thanks for listening. And uh, don't forget to smash that like. Yep. Thanks for watching. Bye.